right? And we said, when you have a question like this, what we do is just to expand. So we take, we take uh, this, uh, what is outside to multiply what is inside the bracket. So five multiplied by X, we get five X. Five multiplied by negative four, we get negative 20. It's lesser than three multiplied by 12, we get 36. And three multiplied by X, we get minus three X. So the next is to collect like terms. It needs to collect uh, like terms. So by so doing, we will eventually have 5x. Then we bring this uh, negative mi minus 3x to this side become plus 3x. It's less than. After this, the next question you're going to do, okay? 36. Or you... It's okay, right? We bring minus 20 to this side, become plus 20. After this, you can do, right? Right? Depends on the question. Okay, okay. So we add this and this together, we get 8x. Is less than. We add this and this together, we get what? 56, right? Then the next is to divide both sides by, by 8, so that we can find x. Divide both sides by 8, so we can find x. So I divide here by 8, divide here by 8. So 8 cancel 8, we have x left, on the left. It's less than, if you see divide by 8, 7, right? If you see divide by 8, we get 7, right? So x is less than 7. So you can just put in a number line, as, as the case may be. Is that okay? See, x is less than 7 for the inequality solution. For the inequality solution. So we'll go to the next question. Uh, the next question, inequality is this one. The is the first question, actually. Is it solve nine is less than <laughs> okay? Okay, okay. I think I have to do this one. This one is like a double inequality. This one is like double inequality. I have to do this one. Okay, nine is less than three n plus six. Nine is less than question number ten. Question number ten. This is another form of inequality, okay, which we've not treated, which we've not treated. So I have to treat this one. Nine is less than three n plus six. Nine is less than three n plus six, and then lesser than equal to twenty one. Find the integer values of n. Is less than than lesser than equal to twenty one. Lesser than equal to twenty one. So find the integer values of x. Okay, so we've not done we've done the one that includes expan uh, uh, expansion, we've done the one that includes uh, fraction, we've done the simple one, but we've not done this double inequality. So for this type, what we should do is to like solve them like two different separate inequality and then we merge them in the end you see this one like one inequality from the beginning of this one to the next one before you get to the sign of the second inequality we know we have one sign here and then you also start you circle from here also before you get to this second sign of the inequality so you see we have two inequality i can split them now so on the right, I have 3n plus 6. It's lesser than equal to 21. This one inequality, which I will do on, the, on my right. In the end, I will merge them again. On my left, I have 9. 9 is less than 3n 
plus 6. So you see, I split this one into two. This is, this is called double inequality. I split it into two and then we can solve them. We can solve them and then we merge them after we finish solving them separately. So what I have here, I have three N is lesser than, you, you take this six to the right, it becomes 21 minus six, 21 minus six. So I have three N lesser than, is lesser than or equal to, 21 minus 6 is 15. So you divide both sides by 3 in order to get n. So you say 3n over 3 is lesser than, is lesser than or equal to 15. 15 over 3. So this cancel this, and then we have n is lesser than or equal to five. 50 divided by three is five. So we get we get this first side on the right. Now let's do the part, the left part. The left part here we have nine is less than three n plus six, right? So we also collect like terms. So we bring six, uh, we bring six to join the nine. When it comes to the left side, it becomes negative six is less than 3n. 6 minus, I'm sorry, 9 minus 6, we get 3. Say so 3 is less than 3n. So we divide both sides by 3 in order to find n. Divide here by 3, divide here by 3. This 3 cancel this 3. We have n left here. And this 3 cancel this 3. We have 1 left here. Okay, so we can me merge them together as n and n is the same as one n. We merge them together. We have n is lesser than or equal to five on the right, and on the left is greater than one. On the left is greater than one. So this becomes uh, the solution to this inequality. This becomes the solution to this inequality. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yes. Today you do, you are not writing today. Before previously you used to write. No, because I lost my copy book, so I'll just write it later when I find it. Okay. Okay, let's take another one. Okay, these are from IGCC paper. From exam mate. Let's take let's take a look at another question that has inequality. Okay, the first one. See so the first one has inequality and that's it. That's the only inequality for this question. These are algebraic fractions, the one we've done. We've done algebraic fraction. We've done this algebraic fraction. So once we did this inequality, for example, a question comprising of this type of problem is uh, you show of getting everything here, okay? Except that recently we've not done the quadratic, okay? But I'm sure you know how to do quadratic. Okay, let's do this inequality first quickly. Find the integer values for uh, x which satisfy the inequality. Three, negative three is less than two x minus one. Negative three. Question number eleven. Negative three is less than two x. Is less than two x minus one. Less than or equal to six. 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 6. This is similar to the one I have just, we just concluded. This is very similar. So I don't know if you want to try this one. Do you want to try? Or you want me to do? 
Can you do it? Okay. So like I said before, you see, again, break it to two inequality. You can break this one into two inequality. Okay. And then here, break it from here like this, up to this place. So you see, I can have two inequalities. So I split them. I'm going to write them out separately. And solve them separately, then join them together in the end. So I have 2x minus 1 is less than or equal to 6. Less than or equal to 6. Okay, that's on one hand. On the other hand, we have negative 3 here. Lesser than 2x plus minus 1. 2x minus 1. So I have these two inequality. This one on the left, and then this is the one on the right. This is the one on the right. So we solve them. Let's let me start with the one on the right. So if I have two x, I will take this negative negative one to the right to join six. So it will be lesser than or equal to when it comes to this place, it becomes six plus one. It becomes six plus one. So I have two x. It's lesser than or equal to. 7. So I divide both sides by 2. I divide here by 2. And I divide here by 2. Right? This will become x is lesser than or equal to 7 over 2. If you want to leave it like that, it's okay. In fraction. Or you write it as decimal 3.5. 3.5. x is lesser than or equal to 3.5. Then we, we look at the left side. We have minus 3 is less than 2x minus 1. So I break this minus 1 to join the, 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 the other side. So it becomes plus 1. So we have minus 3 plus 1 because the negative 1 comes to the left side of this, uh, this inequality. It's less than 2x. So minus 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So I have negative 2 is less than 2x. So because we're looking for x, we divide both sides by 2. Divide here by 2. Divide here by 2. So what we have left, if you divide here by 2, you have x left here. It's lesser than negative 1. Remember, the sign does not change because you are not divided by minus 1. The sign will only change when you are divided by negative 1. So you see, we have x here, we have x here, we merge them together. Let's merge them together. Now we have our double inequality. So x and x, we just write only x. So you write, is lesser than or equal to, to the right, is lesser than or equal to 3.5. And this x is greater than or greater than negative one. So this becomes the inequality. Now, okay, quickly, we show this inequality in a number line. Let's show this inequality in a number line. So what we do, we just draw from maybe negative two, negative one, zero, one. 2, 3, and 4. Obviously, 3.5 is at the middle here. So, this is the x. Put it here. So, 3.5, you go here. We say x is lesser than or equal to this, so I have to shade this place. And then, negative 1. Is greater than negative one, but it's less than that 3.5. So you just join them together like this. If it's double inequality, we just join like this together. Finish. Okay, for double inequality. So this is the number line for this uh, inequality. It's how to show it in a number line for this inequality. 3.5 is here. Between 3 and 4. Halfway between 3 and 4. That's where you have 3.5. Okay, so that's that for this question. Let's take another question. Uh, let's see. Okay, the, so sometimes they want you to, after you finish solving, you should list the integers, right? The question wants you to list the integers. Define the integer values for x 
which satisfies the inequality. Okay. So the integer zero, some people don't write it as integer. Okay. Uh, to be honest, zero is not part of it. Uh, but when you say whole numbers, you can include zeros. Okay. So you just list your integers. They must be whole numbers. Since our solution was between negative one the, and the one positive integer. So we're not going to mention the negative number. So we're not going to mention the negative. Okay, because it's between negative one to 3.5. So we say the positive integer is 0, 1, 2, and 3. 3.5 is not an integer. It's not a whole number. So this becomes your positive integers, the one that do not have negative. If they just say integer, they don't measure positive integer, you have to include your negative one. No, x is greater than negative one, so it's not the full part of it. So these are your integers, 0, 1, 2, and 3 for this question. Is that okay? Now let's move on quickly. Solve the inequality. 3y plus 7 is less than or equal to 2 minus y. 3y plus 7, question number 12. 3y plus 7. I think it's greater than, no, it's less than or equal to 2 minus y. Says that are equal to two minus one. <coughs> okay, it's the same thing we're gonna do. We're gonna collect like terms, right? We're gonna collect our like terms. We're gonna collect our like terms. So we have three y. You bring this y on the left to the right, it become plus y. Three y plus y. Is less than or equal to 2. Bring the 7 to the right, become negative 7. Become negative 7. So you add this and this together, you get you get what? 4y. 4y is less than or equal to 2 minus 5. Sorry, 2 minus 7. You get negative 5. You get negative 5. So you divide both sides by 4. Since we are not divided by negative, this will not swap. So you divide both sides by 4, you have 4y over 4. It's less than or equal to negative 5 over 4. So this cancel this. All we have left is y. It's less than or equal to negative 4 over 5. Okay, you can leave like this. Or you put in decimal, become one point something, right? Okay, so that's what that's what that's that for that for this solution. Yeah, they put in decimal. Negative one point two five is same as five over four. Okay, same as one. Uh, 5 over 4. Okay, another question. X is a positive integer and 15x minus 43 is less than 5x plus 2. Work out the positive va possible values of X. X is a positive integer. So meaning when you finish solving this, you can list out the integers. X is a positive integer and 15x minus 43 15x minus 43 is less than 5x plus 2. Question number 13, right? 13. <laughs> 15x minus 43 is less than 5x, right? It's less than, it's less than 5x plus 2. Five x plus two. So we solve this. We collect like terms as usual. So
So we say 50, the ones that have x, bring them to the left. We say 15x. Bring this 5x, bring it to the left, it becomes minus 5x. It's less than this 2. Bring 43, it becomes plus 43. It's negative 43 on the left. When it comes to the right, it becomes positive 43. So 15 minus 5x, we get 10x. Is less than 2 plus 43 we get 45 we get 45 so to find x you have to divide both sides by 10 so we divide both sides by 10 divide here by 10 and then we also divide this place by 10 so this cancel this we have x left less than 45 divided by 10 we get 4.5 so if they say we should list the positive integers then the integers will be uh, 0 1 but 0 usually we don't include 1 2 3 and 4 okay because less than 4.5 so, uh, 0.5 is not 4.5 is not an integer it's not a whole number wait let's see if they want the positive integer. Yeah, S is a positive integer and this is a work out the possible value of X. So these are the possible values of X that we've itemized. Okay? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's that for that. Let's take another question. As much as we can. Right? As much as we can. That has to do with the... Uh, okay, I like this one. This is a fractional one. We've solved similar one like this previously. From the save my exam now let's take a look at this question from here 2x minus 3 over 5 2x minus 3 over 5 question number 14 question number 14 2x minus 3 over 5 then minus 2x minus 3 over 5 minus x over 3 is less than equal to 2 minus x over 3 okay minus x over 3 minus x over 3 is less than or equal to 2 okay this is similar to what i said before I said always find the LCM of the denominator to remove it from fraction. Multiply through by the LCM of the denominator and then your problem, the problem will be solved. So what we do is to find the LCM of 3 and 5. 3 and 5, the LCM is 15. Just like you say 5 times 3 or 3 times 5 times 1. So the LCM will be equal to 15. LCM equal to 50. So once we know the LCM, we multiply through by the LCM. So I'm going to have my LCM is 50, so I say 50 times whatever I have here, 2x minus 3 over 5. Are you with me? Hello? Yes, sir, yes. Okay. So we also multiply here by the LCM, which is 15, lesser than 2, 2 multiplied by the 15, which is the LCM. So the next thing is to cancel, see what can eliminate each other. 5 divided by 5, you get 1. 50 divided by 5, we get 3 here. Now 3 divided by 3, you get 1. 50 divided by 3, you get 5 here. So we expand and we equate. So 3 times 2x, you see, we have 3 left here now. 3 times 2x, we have 6x. 3 times negative 3, we have negative 9. Don't forget this minus. Neg minus 5x times x, we get minus 5x. 
is lesser or equal to lesser than or equal to 2 times 50, we get 30. times 50 we get 30 so we collect like 10 remember this and this are on the same side this 5x and this 6x they're on the same side so the signs are not going to change so we just write 6x minus 5x so those oh why do you write minus it's supposed to become plus it's still minus because they are all on the same left side it's not coming from the right if it's coming from the right side the sign will change so we just say 6 minus 5x is lesser than or equal to 30 when this one comes this way it becomes plus 9 because you see the 9 and the sign change because it goes it goes all the way to the right so 6 minus 5x 6x minus 5x we get x 1x is same as x it's lesser than or equal to 30 plus 9 becomes 39 so this is it for this inequality so the integers are from 0 to 39, all the whole number, positive integers. The positive integers. But this question don't really ask for it, it's just solve x equals to 39. x is lesser than uh, or equal to 39. See, x is lesser than or equal to 39. So that's that for that. Let's see another question. Before you get tired, eventually let's say, uh, do at least at, as many as we can. Okay, let's see this question. List all the prime numbers which satisfy this inequality. Okay, we have to solve the inequality first, and then we now list the prime numbers that probably will satisfy that this inequality. So we say 16 is less less than 2x minus 5. 16. Okay, this is a double inequality. 16. Question number 15. 16, is it 16? 16 is less than 2x minus 5, less than 48. It's less than 2x minus 5 then less than 48. So this is a double inequality. So what we do, we do what we know how to do best, right? We break it to two inequality. On the right, on the right we have this. Then on the left, let's use a different color. On the left, we have this, so that it will not be confusing. So we break it to two, so we write the left one out, the left one is uh, 16 less than 2x minus 5. Minus 5. Okay, now let's see the right one, the right inequality is 2x minus 5 is less than 48. So we solve them individually. So we collect like terms on the right. Look at the right. We take this negative 5 to the to join this place, become positive 5. So we have 2x is less than. We bring this negative 5 to the right side, become 48 plus 5. 48 plus 5. So you have 2x is less than. 48 plus 5 would be 53, right? 53. Then uh, that's 2x. So x will be what? Divide both sides by 2. x will be less than 53 divided by 2. 26.5, right? 3 divided by 2. x will be less than, I think, uh, 26.5. Now let's see on the left side, the inequality, you have 16, bring the fi negative 5 to the right, it becomes positive 5, it's less than 2x, if you add this and this together you get 21, 
21 is less than is less than 2x okay i think we should have used a different color say 21 is less is less than 2x so we divide both sides by 2 in order to find to find our x so x Divide this by this, you get x. Divide 21 by 2, you get 10.5. So we bring them together. So we have x. We write x, this one. Then to the right, we have less than 26.5. We have 26.5. Then on this side, on the left side, you have 10.5. And the question says we should find the prime numbers, right? So we're going to list all the prime numbers between 10, 10 to 26. That's what we're going to list. Prime numbers. Uh, is 11 a prime number? Yes. Right? 11 is a prime number. Right? Are you with me? Yeah. 11 is a prime number, right? Prime numbers are those numbers that can only be divided by itself and one only, without a remainder. 11 is a prime number, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we list them. 11 is a prime number. They want us to list all the prime number. After solving this, you have to list the prime number within this contest. Within this contest, between 10.5 to 26.5. So 11 is a prime number. 30 is a prime number, right? 30 is a prime number. 50 is not. 50 is not a prime number because 3 can divide 50. 5 can divide 50. 17 is 70 a prime number? Yes. So 70 is a prime number. So you list 17. 70 is a prime number. 90 is a prime number, right? So we list 19. 21 is not. 21 is not a prime number because 3 can divide 21. 3, 7 can also divide 21. 23. 23 is a prime number, so we list 23. 25 is not. 5 can divide 25. 26 is not. If I even number 2 is the only even number that is a prime number, only 2. 2 is the only even number. All those 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, none of them is a prime number. To the end of numbers, only 2 is the even number that is a prime number. So the other prime numbers, they lie in the odd numbers. They only lie in the odd numbers. You only be checking the odd numbers. So these are the prime numbers. 11, 30, 17, 19, 23. These are the prime numbers for this question after solving this inequality. Is that okay? them yeah 11 see can you see 11 13 17 19 and 23 these are the prime numbers okay 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 let's just do a uh, try for the next 10 minutes right or 10 10 to 15 minutes then we'll close this section is that okay Please make it 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Okay. So you say X and Y are integers. X and Y are integers. Find the value of X when. Okay. X and Y are integers. Integers means whole numbers. X and Y are integers. Find the value of X when. Minus seven, x is less than lesser than uh, minus five and greater than negative seven. Then in that case, it will be negative six. X is uh, less than negative five, a number that is less than negative five, and is greater than negative seven will be negative six. So this answer you don't. That's why it's just one mark for Cambridge IGCSE. 
So it's just negative six. So the solution, this one, you don't need to do anything much. Look at if you follow the story, x and y are integers. You say find the value of x when minus seven is less than x less than, okay. X is less than, you know the way you read this inequality, you read from x to the right before you read to the left. You say x is less than negative five, meaning it's smaller than negative five, but greater than negative seven. What number would that be? Negative six is greater than negative seven in negative numbers. You know, right? In negative numbers, negative six is greater than negative seven, but it's less than negative five. So the answer to this question is uh, x equal to negative six. Are you with me? Well, let me show it. Question number 16. X is less than negative 5. See, in inequality, we read to the right before we read to the left. And then greater than negative, negative 7. Okay, what is the integer value of X? You know, I told you uh, both positive and negative numbers are integers. As long as it's a whole number, they are integers. So we have positive integers, we have negative integers. So x is less than less than negative five, but greater than negative seven. Therefore, x equal to what? X will be equivalent to negative uh, negative six. Because if you put negative six here. Negative 6 is less than negative 5. That's correct, right? And negative 6 is greater than negative 7. That's correct, right? Are you with me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this question you don't need to, like, that's why it's just one mark. You don't need to, like, it's just an intuitive question. Now, is a find the value of why when 3 over 4 is less than y over over 16 and is less than 7 over 8. Okay, it says you should find the value of y. So what we can do is to like take the first 2 and find y. So what I mean what I mean by that is to say 3 over 4 is less than y over 16. We can, let's write the full question and then we solve. Three over four is less than y over 16. And it's less than seven over eight. Find the value of y. It's less than seven over eight. So we can actually do this first. Okay, by say three over four is less than y over 16. So we can cross multiply. You can take this numerator to multiply this denominator and you take this denominator to multiply this numerator. Because this one is acting, this lesser that is acting as equal to it. It's as if, you know the way we used to have equal to in the algebraic fraction. So if we cross multiply four times y, you have four y. It's less than three times uh, 16, it's 48, right? 48. So 3 times 6 is 48, and 4 times y is uh, 4y. So if I divide here by 4, divide here by 4, y will be equal to what? Divide both sides by 4, y will be equal to, uh, y will be less than uh, 12, right? 12. Y will be less than 12. So this is uh, this place is twelve. Why is less than twelve? Is that okay? 
Yeah. Okay, y will be greater than 12. Sorry. It will be greater than 12. So, which means from 13. Y will be greater than 12, which is 13. This one is negative 6. As that, that's correct. Okay, we still got time, right? How many minutes do we have left? Um, four, I think. Four, okay. Do you want to try this one? This one is very easy. This one. You want to try? Just like trying. Uh, can, you, can you do it? Because I don't have a paper to do it. What happened? Why did you take paper today? I, I'll practice. I'll, I'll practice later. Okay. I'll, I'll send you the video also. Okay? Okay. So we have question 18, question 18, we have 11, 3x minus 1 is lesser than or equal to 11 plus 2, we have 3x minus 1 is lesser than or equal to 11 plus 2. Is it level plus two? Level x plus two, yeah. Level x plus two. So we do like as usual, we collect like terms. We bring uh, the one with x to one side. So we say three x. If you bring level x here, become minus level x. Become minus level x. It's lesser than or equal to two. This negative one comes here, become plus one. Three x minus eleven x. What do you get? Negative eight, right? Negative eight x, right? Yeah. We get negative eight x is lesser than or equal to three. Now we're looking for x. We have to divide both sides by negative, negative 8. So remember what I said. If you divide by negative, the sign will change. So negative 8, x, divide by negative 8. This one will become greater than. It was lesser than before it become greater than. 3 divided by negative 8. So anytime we divide by negative, this uh, inequality sign will change to the opposite one. So we have x left here, greater than or equal to minus 3 over 8. You can leave your answer in decimal or leave in this fraction. Okay, so that's that for this question. So you can leave us, you see, x is greater than or equal to minus 3 over 8. So you can leave the answer like that or you uh, in fraction or in decimal. Whichever one is fine. Now let's take a look at another one. Oh, we should end it. Let's solve this one more question. Right? Hello? Okay. Yeah, this one more question. But actually, we, it's not for time. I think we should have finished on it. But at least all we have solved, they stand for all the different types of problems you will see. That's the good news. The good news is that all the, all the questions we solve, if you follow them in, in details, it's a, it's a, they will stand for any questions that will come out from inequality. So let's just do this last one and we call it a day. So we say 6x plus 3 is less than x. Question number 19. Six x plus three is less than x. Six x plus three is less than x. Less than three x plus nine. Less than three x plus nine. So, like I said, we split. This is the last one, please pay attention. 
we can we split it to two inequality okay the other inequality from here so we do them one after the other we say x is less than 3x plus 9 here we have 6x 6x plus 3 is less than x so let's collect like terms so we'll bring this one here become x minus 3x less than 9 x minus 3s we get negative 2x less than 9 if you divide both sides by negative 2 divide both sides by negative 2 and anytime you divide by negative this sign will change so we have x is now greater than 9 sorry greater than negative 4.5 so if you say x is greater than negative 4.5 it could also mean negative 4.5 is less than x so whichever we say negative 4.5 is less than s that's they are same thing these two things they are same thing these two things are same now let's see what is hap happening on the left. Uh, we say 6x. Uh, you bring the x to this way, it becomes minus x. It's less than, you bring this neg uh, positive 3 to the right, it becomes negative 3. So 6x minus x, it becomes 5x. 5x is less than negative 3. So divide both sides by 5. So you say 5x over 5 is less than negative 3 over 5. It's less than negative 3 over 5. So 5 will change to 5. Remember we are dividing with positive 5, so the sign will not change. So we say x remain here. x is less than uh, negative 3 over 5 will be negative negative 0 0.6 if you change to decimal so x is less than negative 0 0.6 and greater than this so if you want to match them this one will be on the right now because this is a uh, x is a or you say x is greater than uh, negative uh, 4.5 and less than this and less than this one so it's up to you which one you want to write first. If you want to write like this, you say x is greater than negative 4.5 if you want to use this way. S is greater than negative 4.5 and less than zero point, negative 0 0.6. If we, if we put them together. Okay, so this is uh, the solution. Is that okay? Or you use the other way around. If you're using the other way around, then this one comes first. And it becomes, instead of greater than, it becomes lesser than. So let's see. Okay, they just want you to list the integers. He says solve this one. Oh, for the integer values. They want the integer values. So what are the integer values? After solving this, you have uh, negative 1 to negative 4. Right? After solving this, you have negative 1 to negative 4. So I think we stop here for today, right? Okay.